Greetings, Sea Captains! Welcome back to Classic Crafts, the video series where we delve into the ins and outs of crafting in Sea of Craft. Here we'll be learning from the great shipbuilders of versions past, whose creations populate the pantheon of top tier ships in the Ship Expo. Today's video features the patrol ship, created by G6C2. You may remember this ship from such locations as the Ship Expo and the Shipyard where you tried and struggled to destroy a dummy version with your nascent weaponry. On the surface, the patrol ship might seem unspectacular. In a way though, this is just how it should be, as the ship is clearly designed to look just like a real warship. Furthermore, on closer inspection we discover a number of individual features that you'll definitely want to take note of in your own shipbuilding activities. Before we look at these special features, we're going to take a cursory look at the hull. The patrol ship has a fairly unremarkable hull, though it does have a few features that are worth our attention. First, the hull is made almost entirely of wooden plank parts rather than log rafts. The smooth, neat planks are fitting for a contemporary style warship, so this is most likely an aesthetic decision. Wooden planks are lighter than rafts however, so the ship is going to be pretty top heavy once we load all those weapons on top. We thus need to be free handed with the buoyancy tanks to help the ship stay afloat. The second feature worth looking at is the nice curvature at the bow and the stern. These curves, achieved using slope parts, give the patrol ship a slick, realistic look. Building slope pieces can be fiddly, so it's worth getting the overall curve established beforehand if you can using your deck pieces. You can see here that the creator has left room for a small open cabin on the lower deck. While we're here, we may as well also mention the eye-catching radar antenna, which is kept in perpetual rotation by a passive rotator. In spite of its innocuous name, the patrol ship is pretty heavily armed. The main vessel is armed with twin rotatable mortars on the stern, four fixed cannons on the top deck, and a special custom rotatable spearhead launcher on the bow. The fixed cannons are straightforward enough, positioned to cover the four basic orientations and to offer reliable long-range firepower. They're set to maximum firepower intensity. Let's take a closer look at the rotation apparatus on the other weapons. On the patrol ship, these weapons are mounted to wooden parts, which are joined to the hull using manual rotators. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the manual rotator, this is a part that rotates whatever components are joined to either face of the axle in opposite directions. The rotation is affected considerably by the mass balance between the two sides. If one face is connected to the hull, the manual rotator will spin whatever you build on the other face without having much impact on the hull itself. If you want to use the manual rotator to rotate larger components, and to rotate without influencing the orientation of the hull, you need to add in a few extra parts, which is something we'll have to cover another time. Taking a closer look at the spearhead launcher, you can see that the launch is achieved using a splitter set to maximum separation force. The splitters are mounted to T-shaped pivots 45 degrees, which allow the trajectory of the weapon to be adjusted. The result is a short-ranged but powerful projectile weapon. One of the really inventive features of the patrol ship is its armed dinghy, which is joined to the main ship using only a pulley splitter component. You can build any number of dinghies to your main ship, join them to the hull with joining parts, and then simply delete these parts to separate the dinghy from the main ship. The patrol ship's dinghy has its own independent movement configuration, controlled by the arrow keys. You'll notice there are no buoyancy tanks attached to the dinghy. The only thing that's giving it buoyancy is the hull itself. In its normal operations, the dinghy is dragged along behind the main ship. It can be cast out or drawn closer to the ship using the pulleys. Once you trigger the splitter, however, the dinghy becomes a fully functioning, totally separate ship with its own weaponry. You can mount a surprise attack using this handy little craft, all the while issuing commands from the main ship safely out of harm's way. And that's it everyone! Hopefully you'll come away from today's episode with something of a grasp of how to build a realistic looking warship. Or perhaps instead you'll simply cherry pick the niftiest features like the revolving turrets and the dinghy and integrate them into your other creations. With its neat doodads and sleek design, the patrol ship is one battleship that won't be being mothballed anytime soon. Thanks a lot and see you next time.